us time for Medical Monday now. Dr. Johnson with Aurora Bay Care Medical Center joining us tonight. We're talking about pap smears, women, when you should and shouldn't get tested, and the things you can do for prevention. So first of all, tell us who needs to be tested, who needs a pap? Every woman between the age of 21 okay. and 65, okay. provided they haven't had a hysterectomy for uh, cancer, for cervical cancer. Now, these guidelines changed a few years ago. Yes. Why did they, they change? Uh, well, we I found remember, that... Didn't it used to be every year? Every woman, every year, should mm -hmm. get a pap test from the age of like 18 onward. Right. Um, that was the old testing. Mm -hmm. We have so much better technology now that we can do it just every three years okay. from the age of 21 up to 65. And in fact, from the age of 30 up to 65, it could go every five years if you add in the HPV test. HPV causes mm -hmm. cervical cancer. Um, it's predictive of the future, the HPV. And, and, and that's something you're very, very familiar with, the HPV vaccine. It's so important to get that, you believe? The HPV vaccine, if we could do that, it would prevent at least 80% of all cervical cancers. Um, the wow. most effective time is from age 9 to age 15. You have the best immune response at those ages. So all, all kids, all children between the age of 9 and mm -hmm. 15 to get it then. Boys too. Boys too. When you say all children, boys yes. too. And if they don't get it then up until the age of 26. After the age really? of 26, not as much immune response there. Really? But yeah, the vaccine is so important. Now, if there's still going to be some patients, some women mm -hmm. that aren't covered by the vaccine, that there's certain viral types that aren't covered. Right. We can pick those up and prevent cancer by doing the pap test. Wow. Just a good quality pap test mm -hmm. every three years. Wow, that's incredible. What else can you do t for prevention? Um, the fewer number of sexual partners one has, mm -hmm. the less chance that you're going to get HPV. Right. Using condoms with intercourse is mm -hmm. important. Those are, those are the biggest things. Smoking. Yes. Smokers have a much higher chance of getting cervical mm -hmm. cancer than non-smokers. So quitting smoking uh, makes a huge difference, Abs not smoking at all. Absolutely. So right now you're recommending for parents out there you know, HPV vaccines and then do PAPs every three years once you yes. hit that age. Once you hit 21, don't need a PAP test before age 21. But the most important thing is that vaccine at an early age. All right, wonderful. Thanks so much for being with us, Doc. For more information about this Medical Monday topic, just visit our website, click on this tab. We'll be right back here with more Wisconsin Tonight.